The Thin Blue Line Flag of Tyranny shirt is finally available. The link to purchase is in the description, so head over there and order today. This design is available on all different styles of shirts and hoodies. Oh yeah, code enforcement inspections. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Is this City Hall? You need to take that off of me, please. I'm sorry? You need to take that off of me. Is this City Hall? No, City Hall's next door. Okay, what's this place then? Code enforcement. Code enforcement? <gasps> what do you guys do here? Who are you with? What's that? Who are you with? I'm just me. There's nobody else here. Code enforcement. <clears throat> Roswell has some nasty public servants. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. What can I do for you? Oh, I was just checking the place out, you know, checking on the employees up in here. Okay. Making sure they're all being friendly. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Good. Well, there's the. It's not even certainly not illegal. Yeah, I was just, <laughs> yep, just making sure all the public servants are being friendly and nice. Great. Yeah? You guys got a badge. Yeah, we wear badges here. Oh, are you guys all code enforcement officers? The building department and the code enforcement. Right on. So what, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys do then for the city? Well, I'm a building official. This is Gus is my plumbing inspector. We <laughs> issue permits, make sure everybody's doing doing their job right make sure making sure they're building buildings in a safe way what's your name james james yeah james uh james the cameraman james last what's your last name uh it's kind of long you want to write it down go ahead all right um my last the, the last name that i go by is uh, uh public servant uh checker upper honor okay yeah all right so you seem kind of nervous, just... <laughs> I had, I've had too much coffee. Have you? Yeah. And, and see this, this uh, thing right here? This camera points up too high and that one points too low, so I'm actually smashing it down. Okay. Yeah, so... Well, so I can get you on both cameras. Anything I can do, uh, do for you, let me know. Yeah, man, thanks. All right. You guys close at 5? All right. 5, uh-huh. Anything else we can help you with? Now, what else do you guys do besides building? So it looks like you're a community development? I'm a plumbing inspector. Plumbing inspector? Yes, All right. Sir. What's the other guy that I saw with the badge? Code enforcement. Code enforcement? See the guy that uh, goes and makes sure people cut their lawn and all that good stuff? That's correct. Okay. What happens if someone doesn't cut their lawn right? They get a, they get a notice. They go see the judge. <laughs> they go see the judge? Is that what you said? I'm sorry. I can't hear you both at once. That's the only problem. I'll talk to either one of you. So what happens uh, when code enforcement, if you don't cut your lawn right? They write a citation. Okay. Uh, send a notice, write a citation, uh, go to see, have your day in court with the judge at that point. All right. So, um, so who owns the, uh, who owns the land that you guys are having people, making people cut their grass on? Many, many people. Many people? It's kind of a commune type <laughs> thing? Kind of a commune then, well, right? Got 50,000 residents here in Roswell. Cool. So this is a commonwealth? Commonwealth. Is it is it a commune? No. no. Okay. It's all private property. Oh, it is all private? Well, the ones we sent notices to, they're private. Really? So what gives you guys, uh, what, so, you, so you don't own their property, but you can tell them what they can and can't do on it? It's city ordinance. So somebody wrote it on paper? Right. Cool. You got any paper? What kind of paper? Uh, paper and pen. Sure. You got paper for me? <clears throat> All right, and you guys are city code enforcement, so I'm gonna go ahead and write on the kind of the paper here. City code enforcement. You like my kindergarten writing? It's pretty good, huh? Not bad. Shall worse. not exist 
Uh, do you know, are you good at drawing? No. You ever seen a seal, like a, on the on the side of the ocean or something? Sure. Could you draw a seal? Not really. All right. Well, I'll I'll draw a fish and call it a seal. Um, there's a seal. All right. So it's been written on paper. You guys got to enforce it now, okay? Well, it doesn't work that way. You know that. <laughs> City code enforcement shall not exist. It's a decree. There you go. It's, it's got to go to city council now. Make oh, sure does it? They approve it. Okay, cool. Um, so city council is actually the ones who own everybody's land. Is that I'm right? Not, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> right on. What's up, man? What's going on, man? How are you? Are you code enforcement? Yes, sir. I know it may seem to some people that I'm all over the place, but there are some simple points that I'm trying to draw out here. The point that I was trying to draw out previously is nobody really actually owns any property. It's all owned by these entities that we call municipalities or counties or states. It used to be that if you wanted to live in a community with all kinds of arbitrary rules where your neighbors could tell you what you can and can't do on your own property, you would move into a place with an HOA, also known as a homeowners association. If this was the type of place that you want to live, where neighbors can control each other and what they can and can't do with their property, then you would look for a property that is within an HOA and it would be in your contract when you purchase the land that you will obey the HOA rules. See, the problem is that now cities, counties, and even states are writing and enforcing these arbitrary HOA-like rules all over the place. So there's really nowhere you can go where you can just own your own land and be free. The idea that some type of corporate entity can come in and lay claim over a certain area or territory and enforce its rules on other people's property while offering them protection essentially is the mafia model. Whether you want to do business with the mafia or not and whether you want the mafia's protection or not is irrelevant. If you are within their claimed territory, you will pay the dues and you will obey the rules or they will use force against you. This is a democratic mafia though where you can actually vote to have your arbitrary rules forced upon your neighbor. Participation in this type of process makes you a thug and a criminal and if we were to actually put into words what you are truly doing by using these entities to harm your neighbor, you might realize that it's actually criminal. All right. Um, in all seriousness, though, I live down the road. My neighbor's yard is trashed. They got, it, they got like four abandoned cars out there. Um, is there any code against that? What's it? Where do you live at? What's your address? I, I don't want to give it because I'm live. But What's their address? I, I, again, I don't want to give it because I'm live, but is there a code against all that, though? Inoperable vehicles, abandoned, wreck. Yes, there is. Okay. Can I have you go and punish my neighbor for that then? I could send him a letter. Yeah. And we can go from there. Okay. And, and if they don't respond... Has 10 days to to correct their, correct, to correct everything, like their violations. Yeah. Okay. So when you say down the streets, that way, that way, that way... It's that way. It's almost at the, it's almost at the edge of town. Is it within the city limits? Yeah, it is. Okay. We kind of need yeah. a little... More I'll give it. I'll give it to you after I'm not live anymore. Okay. I just want to make sure. So you give them a notice, and if they don't get rid of the vehicles, then you can do something violent to them for me. No, I am not going to do nothing violent. Well, what do you? What's? We file a criminal complaint in municipal court. Okay. And then it goes over there, and then the judge takes care of it. Okay. So how does the judge take care of it then? I mean, you have to go ask them. We don't have nothing to do with municipal court. What if he just outright refuses to remove the cars that I don't That's like? That's them. That's not us. Okay. So I, I, at some point, somebody's got to be able to do something violent to him, right? I no, hope. Well, not violent. Well, why would you do something violent to somebody to hurt somebody? Well, that's, that's why not? not? What we do. He's doing stuff that I don't like. Well, I'm sorry. That's between you and him then. That's a civil matter. Uh, well, I don't like it though, and it's it violates uh, the king's ordinance. What king? The the city council king that he talked about that said the you just told me that it's king? you just told me there's a decree that he can't have four broken down cars. I said there's a city ordinance for that. <laughs> right. I mean, mm -hmm. tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. So, and you're telling me that you can't enforce that? Yes, I told you I would. I would send a letter, 
and we go from there. But I'm telling you... Everybody has 10 days to comply. I'm telling you, I know this dude is a sovereign citizen. He's not going to comply. So in the end, mm -hmm. Roswell police gets to send their SWAT team over there to kill him, right? No, not us. No? No. So here's the irony of the situation. While I'm standing here asking this guy to have somebody else do something violent to my neighbor because I don't like his actions, and he's sitting here acting like I'm crazy for doing that or saying that, which I am, somebody is in the background calling the police to have them come over and do something violent to me because they don't like what I'm doing. All right. I don't know what the whole point of this is then. If, if I can't call on you guys to go hurt my neighbor. We're not going to hurt anybody. We don't do that. Wrong. In the end, every piece of legislation is enforced by force. The goal is to get your voluntary compliance so that they don't look like violent thugs. Hence the 10-day grace period for you to fix the problem, after that, a fine. But if you don't fix the problem and you don't pay the fine, I can guarantee you that at some point, force will be used against you to get what they want. Would you take money from him? No. Will he owe you money for having those cars there? Nope. What if he leaves him there? For it's, to me, it seems like it's a personal vendetta, you against him. Well, yeah, of course. That's what all of this is. That's why I go and vote. Mm -hmm. That's why I go vote. I'm like, you know what? I don't like what my neighbor's doing. Yeah, but you're I'm wanting gonna... us to go over there and hurt him. We don't yeah. do that kind of stuff. No. Come on, dude. Really? Yeah, we're not going to go hurt somebody. You so, physically? So, but you'll write him a notice, and if he doesn't respond to it within 10 days, he's got to give you money at least then, no, right? He doesn't no, he There's no fine? Money. No. There's no fine? We, like I said, we file a criminal complaint and it goes in municipal <clears throat> court and then it goes on from there. Whatever they do over there, that's on them. So the court will probably take money from him though as a fine, right? Maybe. Good chance. Yep. Cool. Very likely. Hey, kill him, rob him, whatever it is, as long as he gets harmed, you know, that's what government's here for, right? That's what I, is that no what? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one way or another, he's got to get harmed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You could take his hard-earned... Federal Reserve notes, or if he won't give them to you, somebody's got to do something to him, right? Otherwise, he'll just do whatever he wants, and we'll have chaos. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's what we're trying to avoid. That's what, that's like I said, we send him a letter. Everybody has to have 10 days. Yeah. From there, he doesn't comply. We file a criminal complaint, goes to municipal court. Yeah. And then they handle it from there. Cool. And all right, cool. I'll go talk to the municipal court then and see if they'll do the violent stuff for me. All right, man. Can I help you? Oh, I, I think these folks have already. I think I got all the questions you answered. You tell like, me why you're filming me? What's that? You want to tell me why you're filming me? Well, because you got a badge right there that says City of Roswell. That's right. Administration. You got business? That... Yeah, I got business. Okay. You got business? Yeah, I got business. All right. So what's going on? I'm asking them some questions. What's going on with you? I'm finding out what's going on here. <clears throat> Just checking up on my public servants, making sure they're all in order, acting right, doing as I tell them. Tell them as you tell them. Okay, well, you're done. Well, actually, uh, if you, no, I'm not done. Um, you got business cards so I can call later and get you the address? Mm hmm Cool. Appreciate it. Okay. What's your name? Right behind you. Take your pick. What's your name? Mike Matthews. Mike Matthews. Who do we got here? You're the code enforcement guy, yes, though. Sir. What was your name? My name is right there. Which one is it? One of those cards, right there. Well, which one, though? Oh, well, look for them. There's plenty in there. Go in. I'm asking what you're. You're the code enforcement guy. I don't want to contact the plumbing guy. I need to contact. They're out marked. <clears throat> These are the code enforcement. Right here. It's the supervisor. The code enforcement, right there. All right, and and you you're refusing to identify yourself. No, my card's right there. No, I'm asking you to identify yourself at this time. Sir, what other business can we Dude, help you with? mind your own business. I'm working I here. I'm minding my business. These are our I'm employees. I'm not dealing with you. They're my employees. Get out of here. I'm not talking you to you, boy. Call. I made the call. Okay. They're on the way. All right. All right. So, can you tell me which one of these is uh, this guy here so I can call later on? Here, let me do better than that. Let me give you mine because they, they all <clears throat> work for me. Okay. So... You got any I'll, issues? I'll tell you what, you can take that me. and shove it up your rear end because I don't like your attitude and I'll take all no. these. Take that one there if you got any issues. No, no, give me a call. no, that's all right, man. I'm sure somebody will give you a call. Okay. All right, the phone number is 575-637-6240. Yeah, that's it. And that's going to be Mike in Roswell, New Mexico. But I'm not interested in talking to you. I'm sure someone else will be there. Okay. I love talking to people. <clears throat> so you got Bill...
Cassandra. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm looking at the cards over here, guys, to try to figure out whose card I need to grab. I just got the camera pointed that way because mm -hmm. this dude in here is acting like he's going to do what government does, which is do violent stuff to people. You got nothing better to do? Oh, I got a lot of things. Get to work. To do. 